I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Myanmar. In that regard, we, the committee representing Chirongsu Soto, CRPH, duly ask the United Nations, the United Nations Security Council, and international community that aspire to build peaceful and civilized global society to use any means necessary to take action against the Myanmar military and to provide safety and security for the people of Myanmar. In addition to the existing support, we need further strongest possible action from the international community to immediately end the military coup, to stop oppressing the innocent people, to return the state power to the people, and to restore the democracy. And thank you, Mr. President. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the United States. Let me be clear from the outset. The United States continues to strongly condemn the military coup in Myanmar, and we condemn the security forces' brutal killing of unarmed people. And I would, like others, like to welcome and commend the courageous and brave statement made by the Myanmar Perm Rep here this morning. Like the Perm Rep, the people of Myanmar are making their voices heard. Doctors and civil servants, grocery store cashiers and milk tea servers, delivery drivers, all rig operators and artists. They are marching in the streets. They are raising red balloons and banging pots and pans, and they are demanding their democracy back. We stand in solidarity with them. We stand with the millions of people in Myanmar who have displayed courage and determination to reject this military coup. We stand with them as they call for a return to peace, democratic governance, and rule of law. The military has tried to silence those calls with social media and internet blackouts, but we still hear the people of Myanmar loud and clear. As President Biden said, the United States has and will continue to take actions in close coordination with allies and partners. We will show the military that their actions have consequences. Violence against those exercising their human rights and fundamental freedoms is unacceptable. It is time for the military to immediately relinquish power, refrain from further violence, release all those unjustly detained, and restore Myanmar's democratically elected government. <laughs> 